Well, it's the 1st of October here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and wherever you are in the south and in the rest of the country to a certain extent, we're at that perfect window for planting garlic. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about how I do that and give you some uh, tips. This is uh, garlic that's from uh, my garden from last year. This one's kind of interesting because I left it in the ground just a little bit too long. You can see how the bulb is starting to crack open a little bit. But all we do to plant the garlic is we remove the cloves. And one of the things that I recommend is to leave the skin on the, um, on the cloves. It tends to help with the disease control and that sort of thing. And another thing that you can do is you take the uh, uh, garlic apart, watch for what we call bulblets that are on the base of the garlic. They're golden color. Some of these are a little darker because they're uh, dirty, but they're generally golden color. These can be planted at the same time here in the fall, just under the soil, about the same depth as the length of this bulblet, and you'll get a solid bulb. Not uh, the, the garlic won't be divided into cloves this first growing season. That solid one then will grow into a regular uh, bulb the following year. You can eat the uh, solid bulb, but if you wait till the next year, you'll get more uh, garlic. As you can see, I saved, this is what I saved just from my last crop. So you, you divide uh, the cloves. It doesn't matter how large they are, except for one thing. The larger the cloves that you plant, the larger the stem and the plant and the overall uh, garlic bulb will be. Now here's, an, here's what these little bulblets look like. Here's one that is still attached. They'll be attached at the bottom of the clove. Keep those, or you can leave them in the garden. If you leave them in the garden, stroke around, they will germinate, come up in the fall, and become uh, tasty garlic for you later on. Very easy plant to grow. I highly recommend it because garlic is a good food, highly nutritious, but it's also a herb. It has very strong herbal uh, qualities, uh, fights disease, uh, antioxidant. It's a great, great plant. Even if you're allergic to garlic, and some people are, some people are allergic to garlic and onions, I recommend growing garlic because you can turn it into one of the nicest and most efficient pest controls, organic pest controls in the garden. It's called garlic pepper tea. And in another segment, I'll explain to you how to make that garlic pepper tea. For now, let's get the garlic planted.